All right, wait till you hear this one. Brooklyn College is asking police officers to hide while using the restroom. Strange but true. Joining us now is Hannah Sherlocker. She is a program manager at campusreform.org. Okay, Hannah, explain to me what's going on on this college campus, Brooklyn campus. What are the police officers being made to do? So the NYPD, they're asked to um, use campus bathrooms that are on the other side of campus, dirty, out-of-order bathrooms, because their mere presence is offensive. It makes students feel uncomfortable. Um, the public service director, he said it makes safe spaces feel less safe. So this is not only degrading and dehumanizing, this is actually a regressive form of activism. You know, I think these students seem to have forgotten that on 9-11, hundreds of men and women of the NYPD died saving lives right. in their own city on 9-11. And just a few weeks ago, the NYPD thwarted what would have been the 23rd terrorist attack on New York City since 9-11. So these students should be very careful what they wish for by um, demanding that cops leave campus and, and use separate bathrooms. I, I was just thinking the New York Post sent a reporter out there to speak with some of these students. So they said things like they didn't want the police on their campus because they don't feel comfortable around cops. Uh, it makes safe spaces feel not so uh, safe. Another student said, you know, your first instinct when you see a cop is to be scared. I, I mean, what's going on? So this is an anti-police rhetoric that we've been seeing across the nation, especially on college campuses. The Leadership Institute's campus reform reported recently on students at the University of Pittsburgh demanding the disarming of all police. And at the University of Wisconsin, students sold anti-police hoodies and released a promotional video depicting police officers as bloody pigs. And oh. it's just terrible. And we're seeing a glorification of, of this resistance movement towards police officers and towards law. And... Um, you know, we see this with, look at Colin Kaepernick. He was awarded Citizen of the Year after right. wearing socks at NFL games that depict police officers as pigs. So right. we're seeing an entire generation not only disdain the rule of law, but actively engage in civil disobedience and learn to hate and resist anybody who represents it or stands for it. Now, you're with campusreform.org. What, what exactly is that about? So we're a project of the Leadership Institute. We exist to, uh, we're kind of a watchdog of higher education. We mm -hmm. expose liberal bias and abuse on college campuses, and we make sure all voices busy, are heard. you busy, not you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very busy. And, and the, the one thing we hear a lot on campuses is anyone that doesn't have a, a same, similar point of view, a liberal point of view, they get shouted down or they have to call security. They're so afraid of hearing another point of view. Is that still very prevalent? Absolutely, and it's something that's only getting worse, and this is why it's so important for us to expose their stories and, and to stand by them because, you know, with this anti-police rhetoric, for example, this is just one example of the many biases and abuses we see on college campuses. And if we continue to teach our college students to hate police officers and shut down ideas they don't like, we can only expect another city like Chicago where... Right. Uh, sky I'm sorry, crime rate has skyrocketed because police are standing down. They're afraid to do their jobs because the community is learning and they're encouraged to engage in civil disobedience. And, you know, if, if this happens to New York City, it's dangerous right. because the terror is on the rise. And we need to start teaching our college students and our next generation to respect law and order, respect authority, and to start acting with some decency. Couldn't have said it any better. Very good. Heather Shawlocker, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. Thank you.